Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. <laughs> Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. What's your favorite Christmas memory? Christmas at my grandma's house is always awesome. Uh, I have a big Greek family, and you know it wasn't Christmas until like drug paraphernalia was discovered in the bathroom, or there was a fist fight or something. And the kids never knew about it because we were all super with all the presents. So that was Christmas at grandma's, like for most of my childhood. I woke up Christmas morning, and there was a puppy dog under the tree. Either 95 or 96. Uh, and we had just moved into my house in Pine, Colorado. We had the whole family. And on Christmas Day after, I, mean, I had a pond in my backyard, a big lake, and on um, Christmas Day after everybody, full, full house packed, and uh, after we opened presents and everything and ate, whatever, we uh, rented ice skates. And like there was literally like 20 people in my family ice skating on the lake. Mm. Everybody was falling down and making jumps with like huge piles of snow. What did I get that year? I got a water baby. We had a Santa Claus come to my house. And it was my dad's drunk friend named Balls. <laughs> and he was, he's like this biggest, fattest dude. And I knew it was him. I was like, mm, I know that Santa, but I couldn't understand what, you know, was going on. And then my grandpa ran outside and told me reindeer were outside. So I searched for reindeer for like 30 minutes and there was none. But it was a really good Christmas. Balls and reindeer. There was a time when uh, we got back from a Christmas party. It was like me and my, my folks and my family. And um, my parents were wrapping gifts in the other room. And my dad discovered, like through, through the wrapping of gifts, discovered a, a, an old Halloween costume. And he came out in a pumpkin costume. <laughs> And we're wearing nothing but the pumpkin costume and just started like dancing. We ran out of power for like five days and one of those days was Christmas. And that was when I first smoked pot for the very first time. When I was five years old, we were at the Burlington Mall. We waited in line to see Santa for almost three hours. By the time I had to get up to see Santa by the time we made it. I've been waiting for so long. I didn't want to tell my parents that I had to pee <laughs> because that would mean getting out of line. So oh, no. I peed just a little bit. I peed a little bit on Santa's lap. Merry Christmas! My dad in seventh grade was so drunk and he made a fool of himself in front of all our family and he even tried to fight my sister. <laughs> but because of these terrible, terrible actions on his part. It was the exact motivation he needed to make a, a true transformation in his life. And my dad hasn't had a drop of liquor since. Since so, that Christmas. Since that Christmas, yeah. So something that can seem sort of terrible in one instant actually can produce something quite wonderful. And that's what Christmas is all about, right? <laughs> Crazy family mishaps. Yeah, bro. <laughs> So, so the year that I was so bad, I only got a rock for Christmas. And then my older brother tried to make me feel better and told me that I could paint it and make a really cool doorstop out of it. <laughs> when I was in fifth grade, my mom told me that if I got straight A's in the first part of the school year until Christmas, that I could have uh, a guitar. And that's all I wanted because I wanted to learn Brian Adams, the solo on, uh, on um, everything I do, I do it for you. And then, and so I was like, yes, I'm getting a guitar. And my birthday is also on Christmas. So it was like Christmas morning. I'm like, where's the guitar? Uh, it's not here, but I'll tr op open everything and maybe it'll be here. And I got some nice stuff. I'm not complaining, but there was no guitar. And then, and then I was like, well, maybe on my birthday dinner at night, then maybe there'll be a guitar there. And then there wasn't, but they had gave me some nice presents. And then at the end of it, I said to my mom, but mom, where's the guitar you promised me? And she went, oh, John. And he got so angry, and then everybody got mad at me because I was thankless. Yeah, thankless for all thankless the nice little presents bastard. I got. Yeah, and but why don't they just listen? Why can't they just listen? <laughs>
I used to sleep with my mom and my sister next to the Christmas tree. Yeah. The Christmas I would cry, I would hide Lily in the corner. Oh. And then that would make me happy, and then happy, because I was in the Merry Christmas! One time on Christmas, I got a bicycle.